Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And what we're getting ready to bring you is live action from Liga. It is Montpellier, and they face Clermont Foot. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anti a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And the lineup for Montpellier. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10, and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. And the match begins. Into the advanced position. Well, possibilities in the centre. Kawi. He's protecting it effectively. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Okay. Kawi. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Now the keeper grabs it. He's lost it. Greg John Kay. Very timely interception. Savanier. And a good looking ball. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself on side. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay on side. Really a very poor ball. Not bad. Potential danger here. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Chance to play it in. And thwarted there following the cross.
Grejon Kay. Kawi. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Sevanier. Well, possession seeded. Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat. It did look on for them, but not to be. Job d'en Ferry. Wonderfully weighted pass. Not the pass he had in mind. And attempting the through ball. Oh, but brilliantly read to cut it out. It looked so promising. The first half here comes to an end. Well, he was one of their better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it certainly wasn't his best half of football. He was slightly off the pace and he gave the ball away too easily at times. But we know he can do much better, so I'm expecting more from him in the second 45. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. And a throw in forthcoming. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Jordan Ferry. Savanier. And he read it well defensively. Kawi. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Now the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? 30 minutes left for play. Savanier. Just the challenge that was required. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Well, certainly, and here they are passing the ball around once more. Now trailing, but plenty of time left and a corner coming up. And the play stop, they will make the change now. Well, 
Well, they're going for the short one. And saved by the keeper. Now smuggled behind for another corner. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly thinks so. It's a short one. Makes his way in field. A really sumptuous ball. Able to close down the shot. Gastia. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Gregion Kay. Gives it a go. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. Savanier, and he read it well, intercepting it. Gregion Kay. Can he put it away? And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and they just need to keep the concentration. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Savanier. Jean Ferry. Arnaud Nordin. And they deal with the threat this time. Chota. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Can he get one back? Decent position. Now in possession, Savanier. A decisive clearance it was. Taking care of business defensively here. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well. He scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.